Ryan McGraw from the Saginaw Athletic Club. He is our regular fitness guru. We have him on every Thursday morning and some days we're working out. Some days we're talking about the latest in the fitness craze and that's one of the things we're dealing with today. Everybody wants to know what can I take? You say that's one of the number one questions that your clients mm -hmm. say. What can I take before the workout? And a lot of it's kind of bogus. Yeah, we, honestly, when they come in, uh, the number one thing you always get is everybody that comes in for training. It's usually, I'm so tired. Yeah. Oh, I'm done. I just worked all day. I need to pick me up. What do mm -hmm. I take? And what you find is you find a lot of the same things are marketed. Um, that could be taken any time during the day. Right. They add the word pre or post to it, mm -hmm. and then it becomes the new hot fad. You know, uh, you said you like that, the NAS. Yeah. And, and for those that don't know, NAS is, is a nitric oxide builder. It comes in a red canister like this in about this capacity. Um, you take it, it brings a little bit of energy to the workout. Uh, the nitric oxide adds some energy to your body. Right. It adds the blood vessels, dilates the blood vessels, and gives you this pump that a lot of the guys like to feel. Right. Um, however, as it relates to really what what you need, what you can get for cost. These are rather expensive, mm -hmm. uh, the mainstream items you see. What I find works the best if you want to stay in the natural healthy area, green tea, coffee, apples. And there is a unique thing that came up the other day uh, that we had, and it's, it's coming out, you're finding more and more sprays. Right. Uh, sprays are going underneath the tongue. In fact, what made it famous was the, uh, the athlete, Ray Lewis. The elk antler spray. Oh, right. Yeah. It wasn't so much the elk antlers, it was the nutrients that they had within it. Okay. The digestive ability by placing it under the tongue was okay. interesting. They're still doing studies on these. They're still figuring out what's going on, but they're actually interesting on how they're liquefying uh, a lot of the B12, which gives you the, the energy and the B6s. So I'm still on the fence about these. Okay. I do love the apples. I like the coffee if you have to, keeping it black. Green tea's good. Um, as it relates to the supplements, you know what? In the end, it's not quite there, but a lot of it I'm finding is really mental. Yeah. If you believe it works and it gets you fired up, as long as it's healthy, healthy and, safe. and it's going to be safe and it's mm -hmm. in moderation, it's hard to say that it is wrong. So you got to do your research. You got to talk to guys like you, your fitness trainers or your doctors. And one thing, we're running out of time, but real fast, you talk about just the food. You can't do the working out without the food. They go hand in hand and food can also give you a lot of that energy boost. Probably I have a lot of people that eat an orange before they work out to yeah, get that. You know, you can't put the cart in front of the horse. Right. Before you can ask the supplement, you got to eat the food right. Supplements come secondary. All right, good stuff. If you want more information or you just want to talk to this guy, he's kind of a cool guy. You can go to the Saginaw Athletic Club or you can go to their website, saginawathleticclub.com.